In this video, we're going to talk about some of the options that you can use with the menu widget in the jQuery UI. Now, the first thing we can do is replace these icons, kind of like we did in the accordion. So it's the same process. You go to the icon page on the jQuery UI's main website, and you can pick the icon that you want to use. And again, it's the same process. So what we want to do is replace these icons right here that point to our submenu or hover menu, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the default icon that's provided, but we want to go ahead and replace that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. First, of course, you have to specify the icon property. And then within the icon property, we want to use the submenu property. And that works against the submenu that I just showed you. And the icon that I picked off the jQuery UI website is this circle triangle icon. But you can pick whatever you would like to use. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and load the page up. And there you can see we got this nice circle triangle icon now that identifies our submenu or hover menu. So that's looking pretty good. Now, what if you want to divide these sections up? In other words, divide our Rome section from our Egypt section. Well, there's a way to do that with the menu widget, and I'll show you. So let's go ahead and close this out. And actually, this is not a parameter that we pass into the argument. We can actually do this within our HTML code up here. And what we want to do is put the code that I'm about to show you between our main Rome LI element and our main Egypt LI element. So right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the code, and I'll explain it in a second. So there it is. So all you do is you put in an opening and a closing li tag, and then you put a hyphen between it. And then the jQuery UI will actually recognize this and put in a nice little bar between these two sections. And the reason they have this hyphen is because you probably would never do something like this. So what happens is the jQuery UI recognizes it, and it will create a nice bar that will separate our section. So let's go ahead and save this, and we'll see what this looks like. And there you can see now the Rome and the Egypt section are now divided by a horizontal bar. Now, what if you don't want this hover menu? What if you want all of the options in the hover menus placed in one large panel? So our main section, along with all of the options in each submenu, will be placed in one gigantic panel. Well, you can do that. And you can do that with the menu property. So let's go ahead and edit this a little bit. We'll get rid of all of this. And actually, the property we use is called menus. And then the value that we want to set here is div. And actually, we don't need this extra squiggly bracket anymore. And so let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. So we'll save this. We'll go ahead and refresh our page. And take a look at that. The submenus are all gone, and everything is in one very large panel. And so that's another option that you can take a look at. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.